everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to cover with you guys my top 5 tips for a successful IMATS. Now IMATS is coming up, it's the International Makeup Artist Trade Show and I'm going to the one this weekend in Pasadena, California. So I'm no veteran but I went for my first time last year in June and it's a really fun event. The first two days of the show are open to industry only, meaning licensed cosmetologists and beauty professionals. And then the final two days of the show are open to consumers. So you can pay for a ticket for one day or both days, Saturday and Sunday. So you can shop a whole bunch of brands in one place at a fraction of the retail price. So it's a really, really fun show to go to if you work in beauty or you're just a beauty enthusiast like myself. It's a lot of fun and a lot of YouTubers go, a lot of bloggers go, and it's just really fun to meet and greet and shop with a bunch of people who are like-minded and passionate about the same thing that you are. So. I'm going this weekend with my sister and one of her best friends and we're driving down from Northern California. It's going to be a little girls road trip and I would love to meet up with you if you're in LA for the weekend. Uh, just tweet me at, at Chelsea Pearl and I, I'll sync up with you and uh, we can plan accordingly. So let's jump into my top five tips for a successful and fun IMATS experience. These tips also go for any trade show, convention, or expo for that matter. I hope these are interesting and fun to listen to. Tip number one is don't be shy. The whole reason you're at this show means that you're, you have something, you have at least one thing in common with the people standing in line next to you or the people presenting stuff or the people that are selling stuff there. So just don't be shy. Don't be afraid to strike up a conversation with somebody in line behind you or the representatives at the um, booths themselves, as well as like YouTubers or bloggers you might randomly see. I say don't be shy because you might get nervous or choked up or tongue-tied if you meet somebody maybe you've been following for a long time. But here's the thing, if you don't say something, the show's gonna come and go, it's gonna be over with, and you're gonna really regret not saying hello or telling somebody that you've been following their channel forever or you really admire their blog and look up to them. It, you're gonna regret it and just be really upset you never said hello, never said anything, never tell them, told them what was on your mind, or even snapped a picture with them. So I would say don't be shy, just be friendly, say hello, and yeah. Also another thing is just please remember that some of the more high profile like beauty bloggers, YouTubers, and makeup artists might only have 10 or 30 seconds to say hello because they are just swarmed with fans and people who want to talk to them. So just understand that they have a lot of stuff on their agenda too and they might only have a couple seconds for you, but they probably appreciate your comment and compliment more than you would ever know. So I would say take that chance to say hello and say what's up to your favorite bloggers or YouTubers or makeup artists that you see at the show. Tip number two is wear comfortable shoes. Now, if you don't wear high heels every day, IMATS is definitely not the day to break in a new pair of high heels or wedges or whatnot. Now, if you can wear those every day and stand for long t like periods of time, then go for it, by all means. I wore wedges, I think, day one, and then I think day two I wore sandals, but my feet were all right. Um, I have a okay tolerance for shoes, but don't go overboard. I know everybody wants to look cute and they want to look their best, but just wear comfortable shoes that are within your pain threshold. You're going to be standing in line for a long time. There's little to no seating if you even want to take a break. Um, although the conference floor is carpeted, you're going to be standing on your feet for a long time. So just wear comfortable shoes that won't hurt your knees, won't hurt your ankles, won't give you blisters, and you'll just have a better experience altogether. Tip number three is to bring a small purse. Last year I brought this small crossbody purse by Forever 21. I like it because it's very slim and it just fits over my chest and the reason you do this is because you're going to want to have your hands free, okay? Because you want to have this on and not have something super heavy to carry so you can actually use both your arms to shop the products, you know, pay and, and that kind of thing. Also you don't need to carry that many things. If you have a small purse you can fit your phone, wallet, keys, maybe a hairbrush and some lip balm. That's really all you need to carry because you're going to get shopping bags and like branded like shopping totes when you go to the show. So you'll, you'll have bags to carry all your shopping goodies in. Just bring a small purse. Um, something like this is great. So you have not a huge purse weighing your shoulders down and hurting your back and you also have two hands free to shop. The next tip, tip number four, is to bring cash. Now, while 90% of the booths will accept credit card, 
I recommend bringing cash because cash transactions are a little bit faster at IMATS when there's tons of people in line, they're trying to get customers through as quick as they can. Bringing cash just makes it a more seamless experience. You're already waiting in line for a long time and using cash will help you get to the next booth even faster. So I had this experience last year where I brought cash, but I ran out one day and the one purchase I made with credit card, um, the credit card machine unexpectedly went down. I think it was like something with network or the Wi-Fi that was in the conference center, but basically the lines were down for 10 to 20 minutes. The line started to get back backed up because they had to take physical imprints of our credit cards to, you know, for the transactions. So bring cash. They have ATMs, I think, inside the conference center and then obviously downtown Pasadena has several different banks. So yeah, just bring cash. Just be realistic um, with how much you want to bring each day. And yeah, just help your experience be a lot more smooth um, when you're going from booth to booth. Tip number five is to be in good health, okay? So this is gonna be a really long day. You're gonna be on your feet all day. You want to look and feel your best. Here are just like some, you know, different things you can do to be your best. So this is kind of like a miscellaneous tip. Basically get some good rest the night before. You want to eat a nice, well-balanced breakfast. You wanna stay hydrated, it's a long show. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. I would say bring mints or my favorite, the Listerine breath strips because you're gonna be talking to a lot of people and nobody likes funky breath. And I would say lastly, hand sanitizer because you're gonna be touching all kinds of stuff, shaking people's hands, maybe touching up your own makeup. Um, I'm sure a lot of booths have hand sanitizer at them, but having your own is never a bad idea. And really just doing these little things to help you look and feel your best will just, <sighs> You'll thank yourself later because you're gonna be talking to so many people, you're gonna be taking so many pictures. And it's an experience of a lifetime, really. It's a really fun um, show to attend. So I'd say just, just those little things can really impact your experience. And that goes for any trade show or convention or event, really. So be in good health and have a good, happy attitude about it. So yeah, those are my kind of five um, tips for having a successful IMAT trip. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to meet you this weekend in LA. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are and I'll check you very soon with another video. Bye!